In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix your super laggy experience here in Fortnite and gain super high FPS. I'm going to give you all of the best methods and everything which I'm going to show you, you can find on my official Discord guys, discord.gg slash listripes in the performance packs channel. So therefore, don't forget to leave a like and let's go. So I made a whole entire FPS boost pack here for Fortnite in season four, guys. And as mentioned, you can find it on my official Discord, just simply discord.gg slash listripes and then you can find the performance packs server. You can also search up here performance packs to find it on the discord guys and in here i'm going to upload all the packs once you get it from there let's begin first of all with islc make sure to launch the tool and this one is actually super broken guys and a lot of people still don't use this for whatever reason but you can see a total system memory which for most of you is probably going to be 8 to 16 gigs of ram let me explain real quick what this basically does guys the longer you play on your pc or if you maybe have some tools like adobe premiere pro open up your standby list is going to get filled up because every single tool or program which you open up on your pc is going to get remembered on your ram basically and until you actually restart your PC, guys, this is going to stay on it. So therefore, what is going to happen that this standby list is just going to get bigger and you have a lot less free memory. And if you have super low free memory, actually your PC is going to start to lag. And what's super amazing with this tool is I just simply have to click under Purge Standby List. And then you can see now my standby list is going to get cleaned and I have a lot more free memory. The coolest part about this is that you can even put in your values now, guys, for it to do it automatically in the background. So what I would recommend you is for the list set at least to put it to 2000 and for free memory is lower than 1000 and then you're already good to go. Make sure to check both of these here for it to launch automatically in the background every single time you launch your PC. And then we're also gonna go here over now to current timer resolution. Then you're gonna put this one here to 0.50, click enable custom timer resolution, and then just simply click under start and we're already good to go and just simply let it run in the background. Next up, we're actually going to take a look at the automotive Windows Tweaker version 4.8. Once we're in the tool itself, you can see all of the basic system info, but what we actually wanna focus on guys is performance. In the first place, you're gonna make sure that you drag all of these here all the way to the left side guys and copy all of my settings. Then in here now, we're also going to disable smooth scrolling, disable edge tab preloading, disable tablet input services, disable prefetch services, super important, and as well our super fetch. Then we're also gonna disable our printer spooling service, and finally Microsoft Edge preloading. Then we're already good to go, and we're gonna hit apply tweaks. Once we're done with that, we're gonna go here now to security and privacy, and in here you're gonna go under privacy, and make sure that all of these here are actually disabled fully, guys. These are all basically just collecting data on your PC, slowing it down, and giving you worse performance for whatever you wanna do, like playing Fortnite and trying to get high FPS. So therefore, once again here, make sure that all of these are selected you can also go over them real quick and it's going to give you a brief description of what it does and then we're going to go under apply tweaks again and finally we're going to go under additional and in here you just simply want to make sure to enable the network adapter onboard processor this one is super important because most pcs and especially pre-world ones have an onboard processor for their network adapter and if you don't have this enabled for whatever reason your pc is going to use your cpu to basically process all of these network data so you're going to lose out on important performance so make sure this one is enabled and click on apply again and then if you want to close the tool itself it's gonna tell you since you have applied tweaks we would recommend you to restart your pc but we're of course gonna do that later on because we're gonna continue then guys next up we're going to take a look at clean pc and this one is a custom created batch file where i basically put a little bit of code in here which is going to automatically delete all of the temporary data on your pc so that you don't have to do it by yourself something like presenter temp presenter is gonna get deleted or when you place windows pause r and type in here temp guys or also your local windows temp library is also gonna get deleted prefetch data and all of these here and it's super easy you just simply have to click onto it once and then you can see a cmd is going to pop up and everything is clean with literally one click this is amazing next up we have cmd tweaks guys we're going to go in this one here and copy the first one go into our window search bar type in the cmd right click and run as an administrator then once it's launched guys we're going to paste in the following comment which is going to be dism online cleanup image health then guys once you're done with it you can see now the operation completed successfully we just did a brief check of all of the inputs which are linked to our device and now as the second one we also have sfc scan now which is amazing comment to check the overall status of your pc if there are any corrupted files or missing data or anything which could somehow actually slow it down or somehow actually cause fps drops while gaming even if your pc is randomly sometimes turning off or you get maybe blue screens or some stuff like that this comment line itself can already fix that so therefore just simply let it run in the background real quick it really depends on your system speed this one is going to automatically fix them and restart your pc so you're good to go 
Next up guys, we have a specific file here with the best game user settings in season four. We're going to open it up real quick guys. In here you have basically all of the best settings and the only one which I would recommend you to actually change guys is that once you scroll down here a little bit, that we have a stretch resolution. And I have full on guides guys for the best top five resolutions for comp and even the top three best ones for low end PCs. So therefore I would highly recommend you to check this one out real quick. And then you can apply both of these here for your X and Y sensors and the same for your last user confirmed X and Y sensors. And then depending on what monitor you run guys if you're running maybe 144 hertz monitor i would recommend you to put it all the way down to 141 this actually helps you to get less input delay because it helps the unreal engine to sync the picture if you're on 240 hertz you're gonna put it to 237 and if you're on 360 like me you're gonna put it to 357 then you're gonna go in a file and save and make sure to actually copy these game user settings and you're gonna click into this top row type in the presenter 10 presenter go in the local press f on your keyboard for fortnite game save config windows client there you're going to delete your current game user settings and replace them with the new ones the next up guys we have the gr booster this one is the tool i use every single time before i actually hop into fortnite guys and it's amazing you're basically just going to click on a fortnite you can try it out for absolute free with the link in the description and once you get it guys you can see that it actually reduces my ping all the way down to 9 milliseconds latency which is amazing for arena which is already giving me improvement of almost 70 percent guys which is mind-blowing so therefore make sure that you actually let this run in the background every single time before you hop into Fortnite. This is, by the way, how I get zero ping in combination with my zero low and 1v1 map, which you should try out as well, guys. It's actually amazing, this map. And the tool is consistently gonna search in the background for the best DNS servers so that you can also keep the lowest ping while tournaments or playing creative with your friends. Just simply make sure to check it out with the link in the description. As mentioned, you can try that for absolutely free. Then next up, guys, we have MSI Utility Tool version 3. This one you're going to launch. And what we wanna do in here, guys, is search up our current GPU, which for me is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti and they can see supported modes. And if it says MSI, you're gonna make sure to put the check in here under the MSI box and put the interrupt priority actually to normal, guys. These are the best GPU settings in the MSI mode utility tool. It doesn't have anything to do with the brand MSI itself. It's basically just like a connection mode between your CPU and your GPU so that they can communicate a lot easier and smoother, which is going to result in better gaming performance. And then you're just simply gonna click under apply and you're already good to go. And then finally, guys, we have process lesser. This one you're going to launch. And once you're in here, you wanna click under main and make sure that the active power profile is actually the bitsum highest performance one. Then you're also gonna go back in here guys and make sure that the performance mode is enabled. Then we're going to close it, go into the Windows search bar and type in the energy until we can find edit power plan. We're gonna make sure that the bitsum highest performance one is actually selected and go into change advanced power settings. Then once we're in here guys, you're gonna make sure that you scroll down here until you can find the processor power management section which you're going to open up in which we have minimum processor state which you're gonna put to 100%. Then we have the maximum processor state which you're gonna put to 100% as well. And processor performance core parking over utilization to 100% as well to avoid having any park cores. Then we're going to close it and then we have next up the wireless adapter where we're going to go under power savings mode and make sure to put this one here as well under maximum performance which is super important if you play on wi-fi and then finally we also have hard disk where you're going to click under turn off hard disk after and you're going to make sure to put this one here to zero. Then you're going to click under apply and click under okay and we're already good to go. And of course if you're using NVIDIA card use the performance mode guys. If you're on AMD please DirectX 12 this is super important. Next up under graphics quality you a super easy solution if you're actually struggling with FPS is to turn down your 3D resolution. And I would say anything down to even 80% is still super playable and doesn't make a huge difference actually in terms of like visuals. You know what I'm saying? Like this is still perfectly playable. And on top of that, it basically looks the same like normal 100% 3D res. Another quick tip which I want to give you guys is once you go back into your settings, of course, make sure everything is on the lowest possible. But for some GPUs, for some reason, actually putting your textures on high guys can give you more FPS because it will actually result in a higher GPU utilization. So therefore, try it out yourself as well. And once we go over here to matchmaking region, make sure that you put in your direct one, guys. Don't put it to automatic because it might actually connect you with a server which is more stable but further away. And then we're already done with this, guys. This is basically how you get the least amount of delay and highest FPS in Fortnite. And with that said, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and make sure you check out the two videos which are right now on screen.